Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this very simple animation in Procreate Dreams. It looks like this and in this tutorial I will show you how to use basic features of this app. This animation is based on one of my previous Procreate drawing tutorials. So if you have done it with me, you can go ahead and use your file. I will show you in a moment how you can save it to be able to use it. Or if you haven't done it with me, don't worry, you can just download my Procreate file from the link in the description of this video. So before you start and if you would like to use your own drawing, let's go for a second to the Procreate app. You can open your drawing. And first, I also merge those layers together here, those three overlay layers over here. You can pinch them like that. And then you can go to the Actions menu, Share, and just save it as Procreate. You can save it to Files, and then just pick any folder on your iPad to save it. So before we start, I also want to let you know that I have many step-by-step -step Procreate tutorials on my Patreon. And I'm also planning to do some animations tutorials over there. So if you're interested, you can check it out. The link is in the description of this video. And with all that being said, grab your drawing tools, open the Procreate Dreams app, and let's start. To make a new project, we have to tap here on this plus. Now you can swipe it down here to pick an option. It doesn't really matter what you will pick here. We are going to still adjust the size in a moment in the settings. So for now, I have here the screen size. So let's just tap here on empty. Now to adjust the size of this, we can tap here on this, Dream 2. And here, as you can see, you can change the settings. Let's make our animation duration 7 seconds. So tap here and press 7. And we are going to use here the A4 size. So here, let's put 2480 and height it will be 3508. Okay. And now let's tap here on done. Let's import here our Procreate file. To do it, we can tap here on this plus and we can tap now on files. If you have downloaded my file and saved it to your iPad, it will be probably here in the downloads. But if you're using your project, it will be in any place that you have saved it on your iPad. I have my projects over here, so I'm going to pick it. It's this one. And I will tap on open. As you can see, this fits perfectly here into this frame. So now we have here this Procreate file like this. And you can still draw something on this, on all the layers that you have, by tapping here on this line. As you can see now this looks like a very simplified Procreate file. You can tap here on the layers and you see all the layers that you have. But we don't want it to be like this. For this project we are going to change all of those layers into tracks. So to do it, let's tap here first to finish this. And now we can tap and hold here on this drawing to have all the options. And we are going to pick here Convert Layers to Tracks. Now this is a group. You can open it. And you see you have all of those layers over here like this. Let's ungroup this. So let's tap and hold here again. And pick here Ungroup. Now we have all the tracks like this. So each track over here is a layer that we had in a Procreate. Before we move on and make the animation, I will show you some simple gestures. So just like in Procreate, you can tap two fingers on the screen to undo and three fingers to redo. You can put your three fingers on the screen here and swipe them up and down. And this way you can scale it like that. Zoom in and zoom out. You can also swipe it to the left and right to scale it this way. And you can also use your pinching motion. 
something like this. Okay. So now let's start animating this. Let's start by adding here a very small movement to the tree over here. Let's find the layer with this tree. It's this one. We can tap on it. This is called playhead. And now we can take this to the start, like that. And we'll use here the recording option. So let's tap here on this dot. And now we can move here our object with the pencil or our finger and add here the movement this way. Let's decide what movement we are going to do. So let's tap here, tap on move. And we can use here warp option. So let's tap on it. If you want, you can adjust here the controls. I'm going to keep it as it is. And now let's place our pencil over here, somewhere, let's say in the middle of this tree. And we can start moving it. Let's do very small moves, like this. And as you can see, it all has been recorded. We can play it now. Let's tap here on the play. And you can see all the movements you did. You can still adjust it. Let's stop here. And do it again. Let's take this all the way to the start. We have the recording still on. And now maybe we can slowly move here the ends of the tree. So let's start doing this. No, that was bad. I'm going to undo this. I'll take it back here. And now I'll do it. Maybe I'll start somewhere over here. And very, very lightly I'll move this. Like that. I still have to do it for a moment longer because my animation here is not done. So I'll add some more moves, maybe here like this. Okay. And we can play this. I like this movement like that, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, now we can make a very simple animation for the lights in the windows in the buildings. So let's find this layer over here. We can start here with this one. So it's the lights on the front buildings. And here I want the lights to turn off in about, let's say, two and a half seconds. So I'm going to take this and I'll move it here to two and a half. And for this, we are not going to use the recording option. We'll just manually set the keyframes. So let's turn this off. Okay. And now we can tap here to have the options. These are the same options we had before with the recording. Let's tap now on the filter and we are going to change the opacity. Let's tap on it. And let's make it zero. So in two and a half seconds, the lights will be off. Let's play the animation. Okay, it will go first to the end. And now you can see how they're slowly turning off. Maybe I want to actually move this. So I'll take this and I'll just move it over here like that. So I'll make it maybe more in three seconds. Okay. Let's do the same to the lights on the buildings that are in the back. So let's go to that layer. It's this one. And we are going to do exactly the same thing. So let's take this to three seconds. Let's tap on it. Tap on filter, opacity, and make it zero. Okay. Let's play this. And you can see that those lights will also turn off in there. Okay. Now we can make our sun go up in the sky. Let's find the layer of it. It's this one. 
and maybe we want the sun to be somewhere over here when we are going to have here 4 seconds. So let's take this to 4 seconds. Ok, let's tap on it, pick your move and then move and scale. Let's move this up somewhere over here and also I would like to make this bigger. So I'm going to scale it like this. Ok, let's play the animation. And as you can see the sun goes up and gets bigger. I would like the sun to have different color when it's here on top of the sky. Let's take here this and put it maybe in four and a half seconds. Let's tap on it and now we can add here a filter. Let's tap on it. Let's take HSB, so hue saturation brightness. We can change here the hue. Let's take it to the left a little bit to make it more orange. Maybe I'll make it 146 and we can maybe make the saturation higher. Let's make it 72. Ok, let's play and see how this looks. So as you can see it gradually changes the color when it goes up. Now let's change the brightness of the light bulbs. Let's find the layer of it. It's this one, layer number 11 for me over here. And I just want to turn off this layer. Maybe around three and a half seconds I want the lights to be off. So I'll tap here. I'll take the filter. Now opacity and just make it zero. So the lights over here will be not so intense. Let's play this. So as you can see, they slowly turn off. Now we're going to play around with the clouds. Let's go to the layer of them. It's this one. And over here I want the clouds to fade away, to kind of like spread around the sky and also I want them to change to white color. So let's do it like that. Maybe somewhere around 3 seconds we can add a keyframe. So let's tap here, add filter and now we'll use the Gaussian blur. Let's add it here maybe not too much for now, maybe like 3%. Ok. And now let's tap somewhere around 5 seconds. Tap here, pick filter, Gaussian blur. And let's make this one now way more. Let's make it here maybe 17%. Ok. Let's play. So you can see how those clouds are slowly fading away. Maybe I'll change this one, I'll tap on this and make it more. Maybe I'll make it 8%. So over here we can add another frame. Let's tap here, tap on filter and now we can add here HSB. We are going to change here the brightness. Let's make them way brighter. We can make it maybe 67. Ok, and let's do it here again in this point. So somewhere more here, around 5 seconds. Let's tap here, tap on filter, HSB and now we can make the brightness 100%. Ok, let's play and see how this looks. Ok, now in the end we are going to change the color of the sky. 
For this we are going to add here a new layer, a new track. Let's go here to the layer of the sky, so layer number one. So let's just tap on it. And now let's tap here on plus. And then pick track. Now we have here a whole new track that is empty. We are going to add here a color. To do this we have to go here to the drawing option. So over here. And now we're going to pick here a blue color. So let's open the color palette. And we can just take something manually. Maybe something bright like this. Okay. And let's take a brush. Let's go here to airbrushing and take soft brush. With the brush size 100%, we can start drawing here. And as you can see, now we have created here a drawing track. So let's just draw here all over this, like that. Now let's open the layers. Let's tap here. And we can change the bending mode of this. We can set this here to hard light. And we can turn down the opacity. Maybe I will make it here 75%. Okay. Let's go out of this. So let's tap here. And now we can actually expand this track. So it starts from the start. Like that. And let's tap here the start. And first we are going to set here the opacity to 0%. So let's tap, add filter, opacity and make it 0%. Okay, now let's add another keyframe. We can add it maybe somewhere around two and a half seconds. Let's tap here, filter, opacity, and let's make this here maybe 50%. And now let's add another one. Maybe somewhere here around four seconds. Tap on filter, opacity, and we can make it to that amount that we had in the layers. So 75, because I liked it the way it looked. Okay, so let's play this. And it looks like that. And this is the whole animation. Now you can save this. So you can tap here on this dream tool on the name of the file. Go to share. And share it as a video or whatever other option you like. And here pick save video. Tap on done. And your video will be in the photos. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something and you can start doing your own animations. Please share your animation with me on Instagram, I would love to see it. And if you'd like to draw more of me and do some more animations, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!